Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Flip Tool. So, the Flip Tool allows you to take geometry and flip it. Let's see how that works right now. Okay, so I have some basic geometry here, some, something that's not, it's not the same, it's not symmetric one side to the next. Um, this, this, what we're about to do can be done on groups or uh, other containers. I just have raw geometry right here, so I'm just going light to that, light that up. I'm going to select it first and then pull up the flip tool. The flip tool is in the overflow menu, it's not part of the default tool set. Uh, it's right here, it says flip, that's how you know it's the flip tool, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. When you first get it, it's going to give you these three planes, a green plane, a red plane, and a blue plane. Those planes all meet at the geometric center of the selected geometry. So what that means is, looking at the geometry that's highlighted here, this green line is in the middle along the green axis. So, you know, like I said, this is not, a, not, not based on mass or anything or... It just, it's the extents of the geometry. How big is that geometry? So you can see the amount of geometry above versus the blue lines doesn't, is not anywhere near the same, but the distance from the bottom of this line right here to the top of this line right here is exactly the same. And that's where that, that middle point is. So that middle point is the absolute center of the selected geometry. So now if I wanted to flip this, all I would have to do, pretty simple, is just click on the plane that I want to mirror along. So here I'm going to hit the green one. You see it flips. It flipped to the other side. Let's hit the red. Flipped over this way. Let's hit the blue. Flipped it upside down. This is it. This is what this tool does. Keeps it so, so, so very simple. Um, it's great for taking exist geometry. Flip it over. That sort of thing. Awesome. Easy. Super, super simple. Super quick. Um, but we can do more than that, of course. We have some modifiers over here. So you can see we have two modifiers, uh, global axes and copy. Let's look at copy. So I have copy turned on. If I was to hit the red right now, it would take everything and flip it, but keep the original where it is. So let's see how that works. I'll click right here. All right, so it looks like I got a second label. What it did is it actually took this top section and copied it right on top of itself. Now, that's not what I'm shooting for, so I'm going to double tap to hit undo, two finger tap. What I want to do is I do want to copy it, but I want to copy all this geometry over to this face right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag the red axis. So I'm holding right now. This can be done with touch, mouse, whatever. Click and drag, and I'm going to let it snap to this face. And then when I release, it made a copy of that geometry over here. See that? How quick and easy that was? Let's keep going. Let's let's take a copy and let's copy this selected geometry. So when you're done, the highlighted geometry is what you just copied, but let's take this green and move it over here and release it here. <gasps> Look, it copied again, but it did something weird. I forgot to hit copy there. So I'm going to undo. When I undo, the selected geometry is still selected. So it's pretty easy to do. Great way to learn. <laughs> Great way to learn a tool too, is if it's forgiving and remembers what you're trying to do. Let's take that green and bring it over here, release it. There we go. And let's do one more. Let's, let's again copy and grab that red axis, drag it over here. There we go. And with that, I turn that one chunk of geometry into a nice, big, healthy table. Now, you probably noticed that the flip along that geometry is aligned to the axes here, right? So the red is perpendicular to the red, green is perpendicular to the green, blue is perpendicular to the blue. So just to see how it works, if I was to come in here, grab the axes tool, and we'll just come over here, and uh, uh, we're, we'll just, not, not, not a specific direction, but I'm just going to create some crazy axes. You'll see that the axes that can be mirrored along copy it. See that? So I have this red going the direction of this red, which is shooting off over here. So this copies what's going on here. Now, if you're in a situation where maybe you have something like this, let's, let's take, let's take all of this, make it into a group. And then I'm going to take that group. I'm going to rotate it 
some degrees. So it's, it's well, we should go, we should go bigger than that, right? Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's something degrees away from the axes. So if I was to take that right now and say flip, look what happens. The planes are aligned to the axes that is in the group. So it's aligned with the geometry in the group. This is where this button comes in. Global axis, if I click global axes, it aligns to the world axes and not what's inside the group. So I have two options. I can flip to global, or if you have a group or component highlighted, what's inside that group or component. And I can toggle between the two by hitting this button. So that is an overview of how flip works. Flip is a great tool, especially if you have, like I said, repetitive geometry. Never, if you have the same thing happening more than once, don't model it again and again. Always use groups, components, that kind of thing. And flip works real well with that because you can take that geometry and just flip it over super easy. Uh, if you like that video and you think you're going to use it, click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Do you use Flip? What have you been doing before Flip was available? Uh, do you think Flip's going to fit in your workflow? How are you going to use it? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.